This is a middle loop quick quick class. Hi, I'm Jerry with Middle Loop, and this is a quick class on how to preload maps into the DJI Fly app. Preloading or caching maps is important if you're going to be flying without access to the internet. Maybe it's a remote location and cell phone signals are sketchy. Or you're using the RC Pro and you have no way to set up a hotspot. In today's quick class, we'll be showing you how to cache maps into the DJI Fly app and how to check the location you'll be flying in to determine whether it's in a restricted or authorization zone so that you can potentially take care of that too while you still have internet access. This method works on the DJI Fly app whether you're using the standard controller, we tested on the Mini 2 with an iPhone, or the RC Pro, which we tested on the Mavic 3 Cine. If you're using the DJI Go 4 app, the process is similar, but there are some key differences. We'll provide a link to a video on that at the end of this video. Just a quick reminder, if you find these videos useful, hit that subscribe in the lower right. This is the ninth video in our series. There's more to come and subscribing will help you find them. Now, let's get started. Let's jump right into it for those who want a quick answer and then we'll fill in the details for a deeper understanding. Caching happens automatically. That's it, we're done. Have a nice day and happy flying. No, seriously, it's really that simple. With your controller connected to the internet, your drone turned on and connected to the controller, open up the DJI Fly app. It should automatically open to this display, but if you're on this screen, tap the Go Fly button. In the lower left, tap on the map. You may have to tap twice if it was minimized. Your map should open zoomed in to your current location. Now all we need to do is find the location on the map that you wish to cache. To do that, use that pinch in motion on the touch screen to zoom out. Zoom out far enough so that you can see the rough location of the place you'll be flying. In this example, we'll be flying in Nantucket. So now, simply zoom in to that location. We recommend that you capture various zoom levels, the tightest being close enough so that you can read the street names. Just let it sit long enough for the detail to fill in for that zoom level. The time will vary depending on how fast your internet connection is. Make sure you scroll around a little bit, up, down, sideways, to capture the entire area that you plan to fly. A wider berth is best, just in case you decide to fly further out once on site. And that's it. Your map has now been automatically cached. Just to be on the safe side, we recommend that you check your cache. You'll still need your drone turned on to do this. Now, disable Wi-Fi. If you're on the standard controller using your phone, you'll need to disable Wi-Fi and cell service. You can try putting your phone in airplane mode. Just be careful. Some phones don't disable Wi-Fi while in that mode. If you're on the RC Pro, go into Settings using the shortcut by holding down the Back button and rocking the 5D button up. Tap Settings. Tap Network and Internet. And at the top, deselect Wi-Fi. Now turn off your RC Pro, and once off, turn it back on and open the DJI Fly app again. Do that pinch in and scroll thing again, and zoom into the area you'll be flying to make sure the detail is still there. It's best to cache the maps as close to the actual flight as possible. You want to make sure you have the latest maps available and, as we'll discuss later, the current FlySafe data. At some point, the cache files are deleted and they'll have to be cached again. We've done a lot of research and we've not been able to determine how long the maps stay cached. We also contacted DJI support and even at senior levels, they weren't able to tell us. But we do know at some point they are removed. You should be okay within a couple of days, but like I said, the closer to flight time, the better. If we do get more information, we'll be sure to post an update in the description. As I'm sure you are aware, in an attempt to keep drone pilots flying safely, DJI has implemented geofencing. It simply means the drone may be locked from flying in what it thinks are restricted areas. Unfortunately, the algorithms that DJI uses are different from what the FAA uses. What that means is that even if you've used the Before You Fly app and they say you're good to go, you still could be prevented from flying by DJI's geofencing. And if you have no internet access when you get there, you may not be able to unlock the drone. So it's a good idea to do a couple of things while you still have internet access. First, update the FlySafe database. To update the FlySafe database with the controller connected to the internet and the drone connected to your controller, open the DJI Fly app. Tap the three dots in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Tap on the About menu item at the top. Then tap 
Check for updates on the FlySafe database. If needed, download and install them. Next, check the location that you'll be flying in. To do this, we recommend using DJI's website on a browser, not the map in the DJI Fly app. In fact, we prefer using a computer versus the phone or RC Pro. And that's because the mobile site seems to be a little buggy. We use both Chrome and Safari on the iPhone, as well as Firefox on the RC Pro. We were able to get them to work, but the desktop browser on your computer is a lot more convenient, so that's what we'll show here. So in your browser, open dji.com slash flysafe slash geo dash map. We've included the link in the description. Now, the first time you open this, you'll probably get those cookie prompts and the request to use your location. Now, at the top of the screen, select the continent, country, and drone that you'll be using. Why the drone? It actually does make a difference. For some reason, the DJI algorithms are slightly different depending on which drone you use. Just make sure it matches the drone you'll be flying. All right, we'll be using full screen mode here. If you're not seeing the location where you'll be flying on the map, the fastest way to get there is by using the search function. Click in the search box in the upper right and start typing in the name of your location. Select it and the map will reposition itself. In our experience, the fly zones don't immediately pop up. It seems to help if you zoom in and move the map around a little bit. To zoom in on the desktop, I use the mouse wheel and then click and drag on the map to move it around. On a mobile device, it'll be that pinch out motion we used before and then tap and drag to reposition the map. Okay, now that the fly zones are showing up, zoom all the way into your flight location to see if it's part of any zone restriction. There's a color key below the map on DJI's website with a good explanation of what the colors mean and whether or not it's just a warning or a restriction. You can also click on the map and get a pop-up like this. But again, for the full explanation, use the key we just spoke about. So in this example, I'm in a blue authorization zone. Now blue is no big deal when you go to take off if you have a DJI account and internet access. It can be done right on the controller and usually takes no time at all. However, since we're assuming you have no internet access, it would require that you submit an application in advance. Now the whole process of applying for an unlock pre-authorization and the various levels of geofence restrictions is a topic for another video. We'll provide a link to that video at the end of this one when it's available. So that's it for this quick class. If you'd like to see all of the videos in our series on DJI products, please subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when we post our next one, be sure to click that notify bell after subscribing. Thank you, have a great day, and happy flying.